Oh, I've just been prattling about with uh, scale and uh, hmm, like uh, forced perspective. Hmm. Um. Well, I've finished this. Well, I haven't finished it. I've finished four stands, including the command stand uh, of these um, HAT figures. Uh, so I put them elbow to elbow, more or less, and four to a base, so they're close order. There's one bloke's kind of shot or something, hit by something. And, uh, yes. It's nicer when they're all on bases. We move them around and I suppose I could put them in marching column. decent elbow overlap so it's best to make the bases slightly narrower than the uh, overall outer elbow to elbow outer elbow to outer elbow uh, four man wide sort of thing uh, distance anyway this sort of figures uh, sort of wider just than the base width and you're guaranteed to get elbows to elbows. Um, hmm. So, and then there's some more uh, very epic figures going off into the distance. was a ready painted Perry miniatures thing. Um, they haven't really fettled the wheel very much or anything else. So I've done the barrel, got all the black paint off and shite. Uh, I need to fettle that uh, turn screw beneath as well. Anyway, there's a figure that the cat snapped off the main diorama. So uh, he needs to be glued back on. Lost his legs. Stumpy. Mm. So that's it. So what's that? Uh, 32 figures. Plus an officer. And a dog. Hmm. Realistic enough. It's the faces that lose a lot of. We just don't have the detail. We have to build up the faces again. Thick paint. Uh, mm. So. Mm. Load more bayonets to stick on those epic figures. Ugh, geez. The name the tedious. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. I'd probably go around the back without moving the light away. 
light source. Mm. Mm. But that'll do. 